Hey guys, welcome back to Toucan Plays. Just a really quick showdown update for you all this morning, Tuesday, July 9th, 2024. Seems that the DLC roadmap for Showdown has officially launched on the Showdown website. It says, the show never stops. It's always Showtime in Monster Jam Showdown. Thanks to the groundbreaking vehicles and challenges featured in the season pass, the free DLCs, and a wild expansion pack. Get ready to rule them all. And this kind of picture of the season pass here. Season pass experience multiplier. So, uh, okay, um, an experience multiplier is where you get a boosted experience gain. I don't really like experience multipliers. It's like they're pay I'm paying extra for the opportunity to pay to play less of their game. I don't really like those experience multipliers, but whatever. I'm sure some people out there do like it. That's why they have them, you know, whatever. Not a big selling point for me personally. If you like them, then great. Next thing says, soldiers and pirates, three trucks plus three liveries each. That is the name of a DLC. I'm guessing soldier fortune, soldiers and pirates, pirates curse, captain's curse. We know pirates curse is already in the game. And then three trucks and three liveries for each of those three trucks. Interesting. I'm curious to see what that's going to entail. Gravedigger Legacy. Three trucks, three liveries each. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Red Primer Gravedigger. Maybe some uh, more of the anniversary schemes. Uh, we'll see. We'll have to see. This will be interesting. And then the Aloha Expansion. One environment, six tracks, one arena and then five trucks and three liveries each for those five trucks. Now, Aloha speaks a Hawaii, South Pacific. Um, so that'll be interesting. We haven't seen any hints or clues as to what this Aloha expansion is going to look like. I'm excited for that. Now, it does look like that is included with the season pass, this Aloha expansion. So that alone might be worth getting the season pass for. Then we have the Off the Leash expansion or DLC. Three trucks, three liveries. Off the Leash, of course, speaks to dogs. That could be Monster Mutt and all of its variants. Uh, or it could be uh, Spike. It could be Brutus. Who knows? There's lots of dog themed trucks out there. So, uh, of course, first thought is Monster Mutt. So we'll have to see what that entails, too. Always on duty. Now, again, that speaks to military themed. The only military themed truck that I can really think of is Soldier Fortune. I'm sure you guys know of other ones. Leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are as far as what could be in the always on duty DLC. Scroll down a little bit. We have this expansion pack. Are you ready to conquer new worlds? A new environment awaits you in this wild expansion pack, along with five iconic trucks with three different liveries. Now, this expansion pack, I'm sure, is referring to the Aloha expansion. So again, lava, volcanoes, tropical themed. I'm excited for that. That's going to be really cool. Before I move on to the actual roadmap, I just want to say like already this plan is so much better than anything that Steel Titans 1 or Steel Titans 2 had. There's more trucks, more plans for extra content, including new environments, new tracks. Like it's really, really exciting to have a game that has this much forethought and planning involved in it. It's something that we haven't seen in a very long time with the Monster Truck game, an official Monster Jam game. And I'm hoping that the support will continue to, to roll out for the game because, you know, even Steel Titans 2 did have some plan for future DLC, but they cut it short because it, it fell short of some uh, sales figures. The plan for this time around is a lot more detailed and I think I hope I'm crossing my fingers that Milestone will uh, keep up with this plan, even if the numbers fall short. I hope they don't, though. I really, really hope that the numbers meet their expectations or exceed their expectations. That's the, really my goal. Exceed those expectations so that this game is as successful as possible so that we can see these uh, DLCs continue to roll out for a long, long time to come. With that, let's get back to the DLC plan. And then here are the DLC single items. Now, assuming all of these things can be bought separately, you don't have to buy the season pass to buy these, but it probably the way that these season passes usually work is that they will be cheaper if you buy the season pass that kind of all bundled together. Now, OK, it says 29th of August. This comes out the day that the game is launched, the experience multiplier. So if you buy the season pass, presumably the big air edition also comes with the season pass. You'll get that experience multiplier right off the bat. So it's like you're just playing the game with that experience multiplier. Uh, so maybe you'll be earning trucks faster than uh, than you than you would otherwise. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't like the experience multiplier. Not my thing. 
Uh, September 26th looks like it's going to be our first DLC pack. That's going to be the Soldiers and Pirates. Then we get a free pack on October 10th. No details on what that free pack is going to be. Who knows? But it's nice that we do get a free pack. It's probably most likely going to be liveries, just skins. Uh, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's a base truck included in there too, base truck or two. I would expect that these free packs are going to be small, though. There's a couple different free packs, as we will see later on. Premium DLC. Now, this is going to be a pay for DLC. And again, this is not, it doesn't say included in season pass. So this is not included with the season pass. It'd be something you have to pay for extra. I don't know if that counts towards the 60 truck. Uh, and um, I'm sorry, 66 truck, base truck, and 140 liveries. Um, who knows? We'll have to see because they have literally no details on what this premium DLC is, other than it is not labeled as included with the season pass. It's something you'll have to buy extra. It's not free either, so it's something you have to buy extra. And that's on October 24th. It's listed twice. I don't know why. Then we have Gravedigger Legacy that is included with the season pass. Can't wait to see what that is. Leave a comment as to what your speculations are, what that is. Then another free pack on uh, 28th of November. Uh, who knows what that's gonna be. Then right before Christmas, 19th of December, we get the Aloha expansion. Cannot wait for that, that's gonna be so fun. And then another free pack in January, right after Christmas. And again, also in January, towards the end of January, off the leash expansion, that Monster Mutt slash Brutus themed pack, that is gonna be fun. Another free pack in February, right before Valentine's Day. And get your Valentine a free DLC pack for well, Why not? You know, and then always on duty in February again. And then another free pack in March. Now, this is a, a, a preliminary plan. I'm sure that this is subject to change. Uh, again, the only premium DLC is this one in October. No other news of any other premium DLCs that are not included in this season pass. So I don't know what this premium DLC is. Uh, who knows? Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, they may add more of those premium DLCs depending on how successful that DLC is, or they uh, they may not. They may not show anything. Now, it ends with the pre-order. I checked. Pre digital pre-orders are still not available. You cannot pre-order on Steam. You cannot pre-order on the Epic Store. All says coming soon. Uh, I'm presuming that you cannot order the digital. Yeah, you cannot order the digital version for Xbox or PlayStation 4 or 5 or on the Switch. Uh, you can still order the physical version from Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, or GameStop. And a GameStop has the pre-order bonuses. So that's it, real short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment what your predictions are gonna be. I'll have a full breakdown once we have some more information on what these DLC packs are gonna entail. And hey, huge shout out to Monster Truck Man 13224, Velociraptor Goat, and Death Warrant for DMing me on Discord this morning, letting me know about this new info. Appreciate everybody who keeps me in the loop. Thank you all so much. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right about here, and we'll see you guys on the flip side. Later, everybody. Bye. Thank you.